Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show you how to add an accented E to a word like resume. Now, recently, I was doing some resume related videos, and I felt like I wrote the word resume a billion times. So, there's a couple tricks to do this relatively easily. So, in a Word document or Excel or something like that, in a Microsoft Office document, often Word, you would start to write out your word normally, R-E-S-U-M, and when you get to the accented E, what you would do there is control accent and then just press your letter E. So I'm pressing control and accent at the same time, and then you can pause for a second and then type in that any character you want, basically. I'll do letter E. So for instance, if I did control accent letter A, I'd get an accented A, control accent and then type the letter oh i just did a space there and just got the accent by itself control accent letter e get that and there you go so it's not too bad it's a little bit awkward for a keystroke combination but not bad when you need it occasionally if you know you're going to be writing the word resume a lot in a document what i suggest then is adding an autocorrect entry so for something like that i would head up to file and options lower left corner and then I would head over to proofing and then autocorrect options and I'm on a pretty new computer so I haven't done this yet but basically what I would do is I would replace one word with the word resume now I can't just play, replace the word resume because sometimes I want to type the word resume so I'll do an, uh, an intentional mistyping I'll write the word resume with an extra E on the end and then I will replace that with R-E-S-U-M, control left accent, E, actually, and I accidentally put in my E there. So I'm going to replace the word resume with re resume. There we go. And then I'm going to add that to my autocorrect dictionary. Then I'll click OK, and I'll click OK. Now, this is going to be even better. Whenever I write the word resume with an extra E and then space, it'll automatically replace it with resume. So that is what I use most of the time, and I'm glad I've added that feature there. And by the way, that's going to work in my Outlook too, um, because they share the same autocorrect library. Let's test that out real quick. I'm going to open up my Outlook in this other screen, and then I'm going to create a new email message. And then in theory, I should, in the body of this message, whenever I do resume with two E's and a space. There we go. I get my resume. So that worked out pretty well. Now, the other time I had to write this word resume a lot was in a web text editor. So I did a few videos on this and I wanted to write the word resume in the description, the uh, video title and things like that. That was a little bit weirder. So for the accented E there, I hold down my alt key and I type in the number code 0233. Alt 0233 and that puts in the accented E character. So um, R-E-S-U-M Alt 0233 and that puts in that resume. So so 0233 is the numeric code along with the alt key in order to insert that character. Now different character accents have different key code combinations. So for the words that you're having to type a lot or the characters you're having to type a lot, you're going to want to go ahead and learn those and probably memorize them if you don't make a little cheat sheet for yourself so that you can access them pretty easily. Now, of course, the other thing you can do is type them up in a Word document using one of your more easily accessed methods, and then you can copy and paste that text content into the browser text box. So there you go. Using a couple different, different techniques, we can easily put in an accented E character, like in the word resume. Thanks for hanging out with me.